Hi, I'm Eugenie Brichko. Recently I shared video which shows operation of the great net networking card for MSX. Thank you for all of your feedback on it. Today I want to show you one thing which doesn't allow me proceeding with the project further. While troubleshooting GreatNet, I noticed that downloaded games sometimes fail to run. After some troubleshooting, I found out that image GreatNet receives from the web server is corrupt. It was proven that that is not a problem of the web server, not a problem of the Kyo cabling or routing. I started calculating checksums on the incoming data and found out that not only data is corrupt, but its pattern of corruption is very strange. On some sample 128 kilobyte data, it arrives without corruption, but for one per killer, I was unable to get whole its 128 kilobytes correctly. I was re-engineering my code a lot, simplified to the maximum extent, in hope that I do something wrong, and it didn't get any positive result. I applied to WizNet support, and the position they took is that my design is wrong. Literally, that customer is full. Let's look at how it goes on. Look at the MSX startup screen. I even changed machine from MSX2 to MSX1 and changed floppy drive to ensure they are not the cause of the corruption. You see the floppy contains image of the vampire killer divided into the chunks and the downloader program. Now we will run loader and load full image of the vampire killer into great net RAM buffers. You can see it loading, displaying checksum for each 8 kilobytes chunk of image. Now we go to the disk operating system and run test program. This program displays vital information about its processing. C is byte count received, L is starting position within socket RX buffer and A is a starting position for comparison with the RAM buffers loaded before. You can see it starts receiving successfully, but at second 8 kilobyte page fails. It may fail in another place. Let's look me running the test program several times. Now let's look at GreatNet operating in server mode. I use CURL to get vampire killer image from the MSX. And you see it works without single failure, with FC utility reporting no differences. Let's look into the code I developed to test sending using double U5100. I must say I developed it by request of the WizNet because they do not know that AT assembler. While developing I hope that during another re-engineering attempt of the code I will find the issue in it, but as you saw it didn't happen. I still have corrupted data. This block is definition of LAN chip reg registers, main block and socket. This is the request string program sends to web server. Program starts with setting LAN chip registers page in Z80 addressing space and RAM buffer page 0. 
Then it performs software reset of a LAN chip to ensure we start from the scratch. Next initializes main registers and then socket registers. I use socket number 1 for TCP communication. Next it opens socket and waits until status register becomes 13. Then instructs chip to connect to remote server. And then sends data and receives data. Let's look into receiving code. It works in loop until server closes the connection and data ex is exhausted. First it checks size of data received. Then it gets read pointer to run Rx buffers. Sets Rx buffer page visible for Z80. And in loop reads data from the Rx buffer. At the same time checking if byte read directly from W5100 matches data loaded in the buffer RAM. This small code is state machine to detect end of the HTTP header and start of data comparison. Next it sets LAN page with register spec, updates Rx pointer and instructs LAN chip to continue receiving data. So, as we saw, my board built on W5100 chip sends data properly, but fails to receive the same data. With the software engineers were looking into my code and confirmed that it is correct. They looked into my hardware design and I learned a lot about things which I had to do before I manufactured the board. However, Arduino's Ethernet shield also exhibits incorrect hardware design and team from Arduino forums tested his Arduino and confirmed that he receives Vampire Killer properly. But we should take into account serious difference between Arduino's implementation and mine. I access LAN chip in parallel mode. Arduino accessed it using SPI bus. These are two distinctive hardware parts of the W5100 chip and mode is selected by its send pin. From a business perspective, the situation looks really ugly. Wiznet claims that it performs support using WizWiki website. I saw their engineers coming there once a week. It is clear that Wiznet wants to keep its costs down, but I, as a person who works in support and services for several decades can say that failure in support quickly leads to failure in sales. Many great products have died because they were not supported properly according to customer expectations and severity of the issue of the product. So far Wiznet didn't give any clear technical reasons why my design doesn't work for receive and works for send. Organization of the support failed. Their English language skills are insufficient and sometimes it is impossible to understand what they mean. And finally, they do not care about their customer and thus about their future sales. I want to state that if it will appear that there is a problem in design of my device, if there is a my mistake, I will happily and publicly apologize to WizNet and to all people whom I disturb with my issue and then we'll proceed further development of Grabit. Thank you for watching this video. I hope we'll have this issue resolved within a reasonable time frame. I will keep with wiki forum topic updated. See you.